Right on. Yeah, it doesn't matter which way you go. Okay. Clears the ear a little bit. Left arm's way better, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can see that. So in most general therapy, you'd say left arm is better. Right arm is the problem. So let's get on that right side. Let's strengthen it. Let's, uh, let's mobilize it. Let's do whatever we need to do to make that better. So what I want you to do is get on your left side right now. So face the way you had it with your left. That's your good side, correct? Okay. So go back into shoulder flexion, bounce it, and try to increase your range there. Really pull it back. One, two, three. Then bring it all the way down. Good. And let's do that three times. That little bounce to increase the range. That's great. Now, if you look at this, and I can see it perfectly on the video, you're really increasing your range on that good side. It looks great. Good. Good. Go one more. Go one more for me. Awesome. Okay, now spin the chair around. Let's go one time on your right side. Yeah. <laughs> it's way past your ear. You see what I'm saying? That's how fast the reflexive part of your body works. But you could spend months on one side trying to get what you just got. You got at least four inches there. And if you had any pain in that area, it would have been diminished greatly. So somebody's exercise going home would be their left shoulder, not their right shoulder. Oh, so as you were moving your left arm, the reflexive side, the right hand side of your body is turning on reflexively so you don't fall over. Right. That part is responsible for pain. Right. So any type of voluntary movement on the left side, you're going to get right PMRF activation. OK, which is going to fire down your entire right side. That's why good sided exercises work. In my opinion. Yeah. OK, <laughs> um, that's crazy. 